What's good guys? So anybody that watches me frequently over on Twitch is well aware that I've been back playing Marvel Strike Force for about, I don't know, three... It's roughly about three months now, I think. Something along those lines. Um, and yeah, there's been a ton of uh, pressure for me to get back onto the video front here on YouTube with the game too. And that's what we're going to be doing. So... First video, we're actually going to be addressing today's, well, sort of today's, it was about, it was, it was several hours ago, um, release on the new character Scream, as well as the upcoming stuff that's also featured in the blog, so let's do the old switch, and here we go, um, right, yes, so she's coming into the game as a controller, applying bleed, as well as disrupted and slow, these are all very, very useful things that are definitely needed in the symbiote team a little bit more to make them even more effective, especially now that people are wanting to take Miles out of the team, put him in with Young Avengers, um, and really Spidey's not all that fantastic, but this was actually previously leaked in, I believe, a data mine, because I was actually live streaming and people were asking me about Scream, uh, She-Hulk, and about anti-venom and I had absolutely zero knowledge of this despite being one of the envoys of this game um, and we have She-Hulk and Scream have both arrived now so that's pretty awesome and exciting to see because I, I couldn't confirm or deny I had no idea um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one from what it says that she's going to be coming in one of those event campaigns and I like these because if it's a decent character I tend to get pretty wild and spend the, the 50 refreshes and sometimes even push into the 100 as well with those power cores and Scream seems to be one of those characters that is definitely going to be worthwhile doing this for as you can see it says here she's a villain city bio controller symbiote and essentially her kit's quite basic but at the same time incredibly effective essentially she's going to just do primary damage uh sorry target damage to the the primary target um and apply bleed and clear you know a dispel on one positive effect it's going to chain onto two additional adjacent characters as well doing exactly the same to those um it can also chain into stealth targets and as usual counter attacks are going to break that chain so nothing unusual there um and a special with a four energy cost is going to hit the primary target for damage Damage, as well as clear two positive effects and apply offense down one of the useful buffs that we often see in live pvp a mode that i'm particularly quite fond of i am i actually i really really enjoy live pvp i know a lot of people don't i do and i find that both offense down and defense down are really game changing abilities in that it will you know it will make so much easier taking out that that crucial target and also shut down those massive damage dealers so uh, I, I can see her being quite useful in that game mode and you can see once again just as the basic is going to chain to two adjacent targets and do exactly the same thing a double disc spell and offense down once again it can chain to stealth targets and will you know counter attacks will break that chain her ultimate hair trigger um, it's, it's once again, it's, it's very basic, just like the previous two abilities. Um, this one's going to hit the primary target for damage, apply slow for two turns, which is also a really, really useful thing in live PvP, and disrupted for one turn. It's going to chain um, to two additional targets, doing exactly the same thing as the, the primary target, um, but it's also going to reduce the speed bar for the primary and secondary. Once again, something ultra useful in PvP. Um, and it can't be blocked, which is nice, although it can be dodged. Uh, the passive. This is the, the game-changing thing for me. I absolutely love this because a lot of people, um, when it comes to Symbiote team, were sticking Shuri in the team because you needed a bit more survivability. You needed to be able to heal. And obviously, her defense up is really useful. Uh, but here, as you can see, the death on any character. So I'm going to take that to assume on your team or the enemy team. Uh, heal all symbiote allies for a percentage of this character's maximum health and apply speed up for two turns to self and all symbiote allies. That is pretty nuts. It doesn't say um, what the percentage of max health is. I assume we're going to see that um, increase with the, you know, the ability going up. So this looks like another one of those potential T4 uses. And it also says if this character has three or more symbiote allies, reduce all enemies' resistance by a percentage. And for those of you that come from Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, resistance is essentially tenacity. And obviously with Bleed being a debuff, that's going to be ultra useful. So she seems absolutely freaking awesome. This is definitely going to be one of those characters that I get um, ultra invested in when it comes to this event campaign. I'm not going to be missing those energies. I'm going to be refreshing those energies and I absolutely cannot wait to have her in my team. I have all of the symbiotes 
Um, my symbiote Spider-Man being one of my best characters. Carnage is actually in development right now. Venom, as you can probably see from the t-shirt, one of my favorite characters in Marvel. And uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys that's put Miles with his Young Avengers and I don't particularly like Spider-Man and the team. It doesn't really impress me. So I can see that Scream's gonna come in in place of Miles easily. Um, and then I can either use Shuri still with, uh, you know, in place of Spider-Man with my symbiotes or hopefully that data mine's correct. Anti-Venom is one of those characters that's on the way and will replace Spider-Man to give us a perfect five symbiote team. And that's kind of what I'm expecting now. If both She-Hulk and Scream were correct, um, it stands to reason it's more than likely that the Anti-Venom will be correct too. Um, as you can see, it says we're going to have to assemble a team with a limited time metamorphosis trait. And I have checked the game. That is not actually in the game yet, so I've not been able to check. Although I expect it's going to just be, you know, the, the symbiotes anyway. Um, so, yeah, it, it, should be, it should be quite doable as long as you've got the usual gear 9, 10. That seems to be the usual kind of uh, benchmark to, to get past those hard, hard campaigns where you get the most bang for your buck in regards to the little orb fragments um and I, i'm hoping i can at least four star her that's usually the kind of point i get to in these events that's what i got for squirrel girl um and who was the other one recently swarm wasn't it i think i got swarm three starred because I, I didn't play it quite as hard uh but yes yeah, Sc scream's definitely one um, that, that artwork looks really cool that i'm, I'm really going to be pushing for uh, as, a for as a few other things coming in here as you can see um due to the the doctor doom thing blah 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 they're actually going to temporarily switch some of the character shards around into new locations so those of you that are really grinding on yondu right now you might want to you might want to push on that because Hawkeye is taking his spot. Um, obviously, Star-Lord is due back very soon in regards to his legendary event. I'm actually ready for the six star now, which I helped my DD1, which is appalling. For anyone that's been watching, I've got an awful team. Uh, but Mysterio is about to be farmable, which is fantastic because that'll reduce that strain in the stores. I know a lot of you are fed up having to try and farm him in there. Mine is nearly seven star anyway, so it's not a big deal. But obviously, once Star-Lord's here, generally Invisible Woman is the next like thing and then Shuri follows about a month after. Uh, Yondu will still be farmable. They're, they're pushing him into bullseye spot. Um, what else have we got going on here? Not, nothing massive. Uh, oh, Captain Marvel. I don't believe she's farmable at all at the moment. So she's about to be. I'll, I'll definitely grind in on that one. Nothing else particularly excites me there. Uh, Vision's a decent character, especially in PvP considering he seems to dodge more than Spider-Man. Um, but you know, if you've got Deep Rusty, you're never going to use Vision. Let's, 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 let's be real. Uh, what else is going on in there? Um, oh, they've lowered these star unlocks on Mysterio and Hawkeye. So now they're two star. Oh, no, Hawkeye's a one star. Very nice. And Mysterio is now a two star unlock. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Mysterio's a fun character. I, I don't think it makes a massive difference. We'll get access to him a little bit earlier. But most people farming Sinister Six are doing so for the legendary characters. So they're going to go five, six, seven anyway. Uh, what else we got going on? Phoenix's return. Obviously, we're aware of that. Make sure you've got a villain mystic controllers ready. I shall not be ready, sadly. Um, I, I should be just about ready finally with Ronan. I am ready with Mordo. My Nobu's getting there. Um, it's really it's really hella that's holding me up. I'm, I'm trying to get there with my aim. Not quite ready. But um, I don't really want to invest massively in Hand Assassin. Quite frankly, I'd rather just be a little bit more patient and put that energy in and uh, extra refreshes into Hella and, and, and just turn her into a complete weapon. Uh, our upcoming blitzes, we've got the thing and and who? Cyclops, nice. Cyclops, a fantastic character. I was very, very fortunate to get a 100, or 100 shard mega orb drop on him just before he became farmable. So I've had a little bit of access to Cyclops for a while. Fantastic character, very, very useful, especially for those of you that have or will get Cy uh, Phoenix. Not quite not sure what I was going to say Cyclops again for. Um, and the last thing, we got Chaos Theory returning. Obviously, he got skipped last time in, when the um, with the unfortunate death of Chad. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fantastic little event to get yourself some silver and gold promotional credits, especially if you've actually got your Wakandans actually built. Mine aren't that great. I will admit, mine aren't that great. My Black Panther is pretty decent. So hopefully I can I can pick up some goodies in there. That about covers the, the news, guys. Um, Let me know what your thoughts on Scream. I'll be very, very surprised if anybody has anything negative to say about this character. Uh, Symbiotes are a fantastic team. And we've been waiting for a little while to have 
a bit more uh, of a of a synergy in regards to the, the characters in the team. Miles just didn't he didn't really fit for me. I don't know about you guys, but he didn't really fit for me. Um, and Scream looks to be the, the, the perfect solution to that. So very, very excited. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my stream, twitch.tv forward slash dbofficial125, where I stream Marvel Strike Force pretty much every day, four or five times a week, um, bang on. So and I'll, I'll be there on Sunday. So tomorrow about 6 p.m. UK time. I believe that's like, I don't know, is that 1 p.m. Eastern? Something like that. I'll see you guys then. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll be covering a lot more Marvel Strike Force on this channel now. And until next time, we out of here.